What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. We are here inside the fish building right now, of course, turning the lights on, getting everyone started for the day. It's just the early morning. I, I just woke up. Give me a sec. Even turning the lights on to our mini aquarium here. It is fully cleared up, as you can see. And I told you guys I'd give you this right here, or at least one of you that commented. There was over 2,000 comments, so I had a lot of comments to look through, okay? But I did find a final winner. I feel like I'm doing a positive comment shout out again or something. The winner for the smallest saltwater tank is going to be Aaron Hardwick. He happens to be a PC member as well. He also had to get rid of all his aquariums prior to going to the army, and he was like, I would love to have a small saltwater aquarium. Aaron, thank you for your service, and not only that, I will be sending you this right here. The world's smallest saltwater aquarium. And don't be sad if you didn't win because I do have more giveaways coming soon, of course. So keep watching. This son of a gun right here, the big old saltwater aquarium. I would love to get this done soon. It's something I really want to get done, but I'm kind of on the I'm on seesaw about which way I want to go. I can either go and do blue liner and put all the liner in and then put uh, silicone with a window. But that's a little bit more difficult because we're going to need to drill it in. If I go fiberglass and epoxy, then I just fiberglass all the corners, put a piece of wood here, fiberglass there, and then I can actually just silicone the windows straight to the wall. Which way is the cheapest? I don't know. I have no idea. Probably the tarp. The liner is probably about like 600 something bucks. I know doing epoxy and fiberglass in this is probably a couple grand. I'm standing inside this pond as you can see. It's very large. I mean, it's a large pond for sure. It's not small. Well, yeah, that's what large is. <laughs> so it take forever to do this job, whether it's, you know, liner or epoxy. Regardless, it's gonna take some time. So once I do get this project done, you guys already know I'll be filming it. It'll be on the channel. Just make sure you subscribe down below with your notifications on. That way, you don't miss the video when I do post it. It's a big old pond though. It's gonna be cool. And all these goldfish are like dang near hand trained now at this point. They're all coming right up to my hand eating. There's the Mata. Cornelius had a nice snack last night on Snapchat. If you follow me on Snapchat, do you know Paul if you don't? He's probably buried himself. He has because he already ate his food. When he's hungry, he'll come out. Oh, there he is. Hey, Cornelius. I'm going to cover you back up. Sorry, bud. Don't want to bother you. That's like someone pulling the sheets off you while you're sleeping. He's like, dude, come on, man. LED lights and sh Let's see what Leo's up to. But there he is. He is so red now. It's crazy. He's getting much larger. He's got a little bit of green on him. That white is so pronounced, but that red is just red, red. One of those big blue hornworms actually hatched out of the cocoon, and that's the moth that came out of it. Like, what in the heck? That's the moth. Those big blue superworms turn into that. I'm gonna close that so he can't get out. See you, bud. I don't do bugs, so have a good day. Hey, buddy. Loves a good old pet. Beast. As you know, we can hang in here all day, uh, but we do have something to do today, and that's head over to Bass Pro Shops down south. But the one swipe, you're just gonna be there. It's that easy. Love editing. Big old aquarium right there. I want one of these in my house. Yeah? Yep. We are here at, of course, Bass Pro Shops. Not sponsored, but I happen to wear their hats often. Look at the size of these large mouths. Joey, that's a solid, like, 10-pounder right there. 10? That's yeah, that's probably, yeah it looks, it's probably like 12. Big old redfish. It's kind of cool to see a, a redfish with a bass. You know, we have a largemouth bass, obviously another. There's actually a couple of them. Look at them all right here. The lighting's a little weird on camera, but there is a solid, like, eight bass that are all over eight pounds right there. That is a stud. It's crazy. We have a long nose gar right here. Super long nose on them. Spotted gar. Redfish again is coming back around. There's a tarpon. There is a tarpon somewhere in here. I don't know where it is. Oh, there's the tarpon. There it is. I gotta chase it around to the other side. It's going to the back. There he is. There he is. That is awesome. I love how this is just right here. Imagine we had a bucket of live bait and we threw it right in. Imagine Boom! We could go buy some fish out of the vending machine in the front. Walk them back here and feed them. That'd probably be illegal though. That's definitely illegal. Yeah, it, says. <laughs> <laughs> it says it right here. Please do not throw anything into aquarium. Unfortunately, we can't do that, but this aquarium is super cool. And I don't know if I've ever showed it, maybe once before on the channel. So for those of you that haven't not seen it, that right there is one of the coolest Bass Pro Shops aquariums. Outside of Bass Pro Shops, there is a vending machine. This vending machine apparently has live fish in it. Live bait right there. I have seen videos on this on YouTube before, 
It looked awesome, so I had to come make the hour drive and see if it's all legit. So we have buttons here. As you see, there's six total buttons. One of the buttons says night crawlers, one dozen, four dollars, and another button says shiners. Three to four count, three dollars. I'm seriously curious to see if I put three dollars worth of quarters inside this machine, it's actually gonna spit out live shiners. What do you think? All right, I've got all $4 worth of quarters. It's actually working this time. How many was that? Uh, two, maybe. Amount deposited, zero. It's not working. It actually stole my coin. Look. It stole my money. <laughs> what, are you kidding me? <laughs> I put money in, zero dollars deposited, and it doesn't drop out. But I put another one in, it comes out. I'm losing quarters by the minute. You know, oh, oh, yep, she's feeding back out to us, let's see. All right, well, let me return my coins. Oh wait, <laughs> that doesn't work either. Merchandise vending machine, you owe me money. You owe me all my money back. A solid $2.25 you owe me. I'm going in. I'm either making this happen or I'm not. Come on, take it all. Well, I gave her a go. We just drove an hour and 30 minutes in a monsoon, quite literally. Sunny South Florida. It's literally a monsoon right now. Drove an hour and 30 minutes in that just to find out that this vending machine not only probably doesn't have fish, but doesn't work. It said it, $4.05 I just spent. Look, right there. Select another option. Shiners. Mic crawlers. Shiners. Yep. Oh, something fell. Something fell. Night crawlers. It actually worked. That, okay, not gonna lie. That's kind of cool. It actually freaking worked. Look at that. I got night crawlers. Well, let's make sure they're actually night crawlers and they're not all dead. That's super cool. Let's crack her open. Oh my gosh. It literally is live worms. Oh my gosh, you can literally buy live worms out of this thing. It worked, it literally worked. I don't know how much it's spent. I think I put more than this amount in. I tried to click shiners, I tried to click night crawlers. There's only night crawlers and shiners on there, but I got night crawlers out of a live vending machine, live bait. I really wonder what the shiners come out in. Like, do they come out in a little bucket with water in it? I would, what? This is at the uh, Bass Pro Shops down south in like Dana Beach. You guys should check this out and come by and see if it's working. Uh, it, 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 didn't, it didn't work too well, but I had to smash the machine to quite literally get my night crawlers out. Now I don't know what to do with these. I wish I can go in there and feed all the fish. But isn't that just crazy? I mean, we literally hit the machine, it popped out of there. Live night crawlers right out of a vending machine. How crazy is that? Oh, we're back home at the big old pond with all the giant predatory fish and some earthworms. 18 Canadian night crawlers. There he is. Except for it's probably gonna be like the other way around. The fish is probably gonna be holding the worm here in a second. Hey buds. It's like going out back and just grabbing them right out the soil. See what happens. Oh my gosh! I didn't know they ate those. It was just kind of a, kind of a full send. Here we go. See what happens. Oh, 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 see you later, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha, that's kind of cool. So a lot of people buy these to go fishing. That's what that entire vending machine is for. The Paku kind of likes them. We came up for another one. Yeah, the vending machine is for like live worms and live shiners like this so people can get them and go fishing. Oh, 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 oh. See? Who's gonna get it? Dude, the Paku really likes them. Here, Beast. Oh, oh, Beast, it's behind you. It's behind you, right there. Oh, yeah. Paku. Boom. He's gonna get it. Who's gonna get it? Oh, the freaking Paku. Between Beast and the Paku, they're gonna eat them all. Sheesh. I put one in the cichlid pond. I know they'll eat it eventually. 
Went right. Oh, oh, there they go. He got it. Come here, Nightcrawler. Wow, that's crazy. Ready? Paku's gonna get another. Oh yeah. I found my Paku's new favorite snack. Like that is literally his favorite. Look, he won't let anyone get any. Two worms left. There they go. Who will get them? Oh, there's another one. It's going. Oh, and he got both. Well, that dang Paku don't want nobody else eating them. Gotta love a good old worm touch, huh? Gaffaro's, that is all I got for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video, Vending Machine. If you guys wanna see more of that, smash the like button. Hit that dirty thumb like button. I cannot wait to set this big old tank up. It's gonna be an absolute blast. And that'll be inside the new car business as well. Got lots of great content coming for you guys. Stick along. I'll see you right back here in the next one. Peace.